guys, it's your girl Jessie Q here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be the third, I believe, uh, back to school video and in today's video, as I'm probably sure you guys have already seen by the title, we are going to be doing some back to school hacks. So guys, I have, you know, a few hacks here for you guys and I'm really excited to share it with you all. Uh, some of these might be common knowledge, some of these may not. Some of these might apply to you, some of these may not, but I think they're all cool. So, before we get into today's video, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every time that I post. And if this is your first time seeing my face, <laughs> hey, welcome to the Jessica family. You are now a cutie and we are so glad to have you. So guys, no long talk, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so for the first set of hacks that I'm going to be doing with you, I just wanted to show you guys some internet hacks. Let's go with that. So the first hack is instead of searching through uh, blog posts and Wikipedia and stuff when you need to get uh, some information, you can go to scholar.google.com actually and you can just type in the information that you are looking for and you can type in based on articles or case law and you can find all the information that you need. So I'm going to just try here with um, earthquakes and let's just see what comes up. Alright, so now we have here some articles on the specific topic and we can also get some citations from that okay so number two we are going to be doing uh, math now I don't know about you guys but I am not good at math whatsoever but this is a really cool website so the name of this website is wolframalpha.com and basically it allows you to solve math equations so I'm just going to paste an equation in here and let's see what it whips up and from that one equation we were able to get all of this so now we have answers to our math equations and you also have some alternate forms of answering the same question and it really is very cool for people like me so the third website that we are going to be talking about is word hippo and this is for the times when you're really stuck on a word and you have a long essay to do but you don't want to continue using words like like or as you can go to word hippo and input what you want for the word so you can do another word for opposite meaning meaning of rhymes with sentences with there are lots of possibilities you can just put in your word and word hippo will generate a word similar to it that you can get so let's search another word for like and there we have it we have a whole list of words that we can now choose to use all right guys so the fourth website is keepmeout.com now this website is for those of us who don't have all the discipline necessary when studying i know that used to be me sometimes i'm not even gonna lie so when you need to study but you just can't seem to get off of facebook or instagram or whatever you can go to keepmeout.com and you can tell it what you want it to do so right now it says warn me if i go to facebook more than once in 60 minutes you you can set it however you want if you want it to be 30 minutes if you want it to be 15 minutes it doesn't matter it's totally up to you and when you are able to do that you have a little more discipline to really study so our fifth option for websites is actually naturalreaders.com what this really is is a text to speech uh, translator I know sometimes you spend hours doing an essay and then it's time to proofread it but you're really drained you're really tired and you just don't have the energy to sit down and read through the entire thing well what you can do is just copy and paste your text into naturalreaders.com and you can choose your reader choose the speed you want the reader to read it at and then sit back relax and listen to them read it out for you 
this natural disaster which occurs as a sudden shaking movement of rocks and the Earth's crust. Okay guys, so for this next set of school hacks, what we're going to be doing is actually going across to uh, Microsoft Word. So, I know that sometimes you have an essay to write and you haven't yet reached your um, word count that you need to reach for the essay. And that can be really frustrating at times because you really exhausted all your options for what you want this essay to say, but you're just not there yet in your word count. What you can actually do is you can add some words at the end of your paragraph. It doesn't even matter. Add some sentences to the end of your paragraph and then you can change the color to white. So that way it's not going to show up but you have some words added to the end of your paragraph and your word count now goes up. I would suggest, however, guys, that you be careful with this one. Uh, you really don't know what could happen and depending on, you know, your school's rules or whatever, don't tell them just like I tell you to do that. No, please. But it is a pretty good alternative. Uh, I would suggest you use shorter sentences and spread it out, shorter words or whatever, and spread it out so that it isn't that obvious. So for our seventh hack, additionally, if you have less words, sometimes you're going to have more words. So if you are above the word count by a little bit, what you can actually do is add dashes to your paragraph and you can actually change the dashes to white this will group the words together but still be grammatically correct and you won't be able to see it so that your word count goes down and for number eight so you think your essay looks a little bit you know small <laughs> one thing that you can do is actually increase the size of all your full stops increase the font size of all your full stops so that will make your essay look a little bit more spaced and even okay so i don't know if you guys have ever uh had this happen to you but sometimes um a word comes up as fragment consider revising right and we never know what to do with it well apparently all that you have to do is just enter a semicolon somewhere in the sentence and that's it i don't know why but that is the reason for that and that is how you can solve it okay so for this next one we are back to the internet now i know sometimes we're working on some things and we close a tab by mistake well no need to worry you can just press Control shift t and your last closed tab will reopen and voila it's no longer gone so for this next one if you have an entire sentence or an entire word that you want to delete but you don't want to go one by one deleting things you can actually press Control fn backspace for windows or Control alt backspace for mac i believe don't hold me to that one so if you have an entire sentence you can choose Control fn backspace to delete words one at a time and that's it you're able to delete more than one uh, letter at a time so guys I know sometimes we're really into what we're doing and we're not really paying attention to what exactly is happening on the screen you know it's just brain to fingers and sometimes we end up typing an entire paragraph in all caps what is more dreadful well guys i have a hack for that so if you have typed an entire paragraph in all caps what you can do in microsoft word of course is you can actually go to the home tab the font section and you can click on change case 
Now you have a few options for this. You can change it to sentence case, which would be most likely what you want to do. That would make the first letter of the sentence uh, capital and everything else common. You also have some other options. You could change all to lowercase. You can change all to uppercase, which is what you would have been on in the first place. You can capitalize each word and you can toggle the case. All right, guys, so these next set of hacks that I'm going to be doing are some backpack hacks. So, you know, you have your bag, here's some important things that you can do and also have in your bag to make your life a bit easier. This next hack is actually to have an emergency kit in your bag. So in my emergency kit, it's really full actually. I have a lot of stuff. So I have extra tampons because girls always need those. I have extra pads, panty shields. I have some makeup. I have painkillers. I have a toothbrush, toothpaste. I have a comb, a brush, extra hairpins mints, deodorant, perfume, my emergency kit is really full. I even have a small sewing kit in my emergency kit that has, you know, a needle, a little bit of colored thread, and about two buttons. So guys, I thought this next hack was actually a really great hack. Imagine this, you're searching inside your backpack to find your books that you need for that class and your backpack is really full and you can't seem to find your book well a good way to get rid of that problem is actually to color code the tops of your book so what I'm going to do for this I'm just taking a highlighter and I'm just going to color the top of my book here so that way when you look into your backpack and you know the code you can easily identify which book is which. Another book hack is actually to leave the first one or two pages of your book blank so that when you start using it, you can actually go back to the front and write a table of contents. Makes it easier when you're studying because you know exactly where to find those topics that you're looking for. Additionally, while we're talking about notebooks, please guys remember, if you didn't know, it is actually easier for your brain to remember what is written in blue ink. Who knew? So this next hack is genius. If you don't know the decimals of pi, which a lot of us don't remember, I just remember it as 3.142, but what are the rest of decimals? I don't know. This hack is actually, may I have a large container of coffee? That sentence gives you the decimals of pi. So it will be 3.1415926. May I have a large container of coffee? And that is simply just counting the letters of those individual words in that sentence and you get the decimals of pi. This next hack is actually for if you have a presentation or something and you know you're using those little flashcards to read. Well, a tip to help you remember where you've stopped is actually to write each new line on the flashcard in a different color of ink. So that would be easier for you to visualize while you're reading it out loud. You'll know exactly where you stopped and where you're going next. This next one is for if you happen to not have your emergency kit or your emergency kit isn't well stocked and you realize that you're in school and the smell starts to kick. Guys, that is a bad place to be, but have no fear. If you happen to have hand sanitizer in your backpack, you can actually use the hand sanitizer as deodorant because the alcohol in the hand sanitizer combats the smell and you're able to stay a bit fresher for a little while. I'm not saying that it is going to work as well as antiperspirant deodorant, but it's a bit of a fix. And last but not least, the last hack of today is actually to drink more water 
when you get up in the morning? What adds to that feeling of tiredness and fatigue when we're now waking up? You would think, I just slept for eight hours. You know, I should be refreshed. I should wake up and be ready to seize the day. But it actually is the dehydration of the night that causes us to feel really tired and fatigued. So I would say the most important out of all of these hacks that I've given to you guys today is to drink more water as soon as you wake up. Have a glass or two of water when you wake up. Allow your body to refresh from the inside and wake you up from the inside and then you'll be ready to truly seize the day. All right guys, so those were 20 hacks for you guys and I am just so excited about all of this I learned a lot of things that I didn't know in preparation for this video and I'm sure at least one thing that you guys didn't know you would have learned here as well I actually have some more so if you guys would like to see some more back to school hacks from me please let me know in the comments down below and I would actually do a part two to this video if you guys really want it guys thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope these hacks really help you guys out so until a next time namaste babies <laughs>